Hello everyone, this is Running on Empty Food Review. Uh, you might notice a smile on my face and I can't help but laugh. I gotta make sure, uh, as I was just about to start filming, this guy in the convertible pulled up next and I think he's getting in a fight with someone across the parking lot. I'm, I'm dead serious. He was there, he was yelling the F word, he was saying, you want to start something with me? And uh, If something happens, I apologize, but it's also good to start recording just in case, you know. May as well have a record of it. <clears throat> anyway, to uh, get into the review here, and yes, I do have my doors locked. Um, to get into the review here, this is, this is a first. This is a first for the channel, a first for the Running on Empty series, and it's an exciting first of all things. I mean, I don't know, maybe they're, maybe they're fighting over there because of Culver's, you know, they just like it so much. I've never had Culver's before. I've never reviewed it before. I've never had it before. You know, I mean, this is exciting for me because I'm really, I'm just curious as to what this is, what it tastes like, because I've gotten a lot of recommendations for it, a lot of suggestions, and now I'm finally able to do it. All right, it looks like they're gone, so we can let our guard down a little bit. So today's review is for the Culver's Bacon Deluxe Burger. Um, I got my trusty notebook here. And this burger comes with um, two patties of Midwest raised beef, uh, two strips of bacon, Wisconsin cheese, not that Michigan cheese, um, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles on their famous buttered toasted bun. And that's what Culver's, I think, really likes to brag about of their burgers, you know, the butter burgers. Um, here's what the box looks like. You can see it's actually pretty, you know, they actually have some nice decals on it. Um, it's colorful. They're really proud of Wisconsin, you know, you can see right here, uh, there's a map of the state of Wisconsin. Um, and there's the burger. It's two-dimensional, uh, so that's what it looks like, and uh, it'll be interesting. Just kidding about the two-dimensional part. Okay, let's look at this. Now here's what it looks like. Here's the burger. I'm gonna hold it from different lengths and distances from the camera because I know sometimes the sun can bleach things out a little bit, but this is what it looks like real up close, if you can see that. Um, we'll take it out of the wrapper, which is a little unorthodox, but I like doing that. I like living on the edge. There's that. That's what it looks like. And uh, there I am holding the blessed Culver's burger. Uh, I think all the ingredients are there. There's the buttered bun, the beef patties. I can see the cheese, the strips of bacon. I don't want to really tear it apart too much. Um, you can see a little bit of the mayo and uh, pickles there. So I think you can thoroughly see it. And now I'm just gonna try it. So the name of this again is the Culver's Bacon Deluxe Burger from Culver's. I'm really excited about this. Uh, so I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know what it tastes like. So it's the Culver's Bacon Deluxe Burger from Culver's going in. More bites. <laughs> Must be my lucky day. All these things are falling off and they're landing perfectly in the box. All right, one final bite.
you know, about a year and a half ago, I think it was about that, that long ago, again, this was the first time I've ever tried Culver's, but about a year and a half ago, I got an email from the Culver's marketing team. They said, well, we have a proposition for you. Um, if you'd be interested in reviewing one of our new burgers, we'll fly you out to Wisconsin, and uh, assuming you're not too far away, you can go there, you can review it, and uh, that'll be that. They said, well, where are you located? I said, New York. And they said, no. Now, what does this burger taste like exactly, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, again, this is the Culver's Bacon Deluxe. I'm just making sure I have all the ingredients on track. Comes of two patties, two beef patties, two strips of bacon, Wisconsin cheese, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles on the buttered bun. So it has a lot of ingredients. You know, it's a deluxe burger, as the name um, correctly implies. How does it taste exactly? Well, to give some initial observations, I think there's, when it comes to fast food burgers, I think you have two tiers of burgers. You know, there's a low tier, and then there's the high tier. The low tier burgers are kind of like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's nowadays. The high tier is kind of like Five Guys, in and out um, I'll even go ahead and um, lump Steak and Shake in there, you know, with it. And I'll say Culver's as well. The difference that you notice with these high-tier burgers is just the overall quality of the meat, the quality of the ingredients, how everything blends together, how it tastes, how flavorful it is. And that's something that really stuck out to me with this Culver's burger. Um, my real initial observation, you know, and then I'll, I'll talk, I have a little runny nose, I'll talk about what, um, you know, what I say in depth about this, what all the ingredients, how all that is, is people really, you know, they praise this burger. They say, well, you gotta try Culver's, you know, you gotta try Culver's, you gotta get it. This is going to be the best thing you're ever gonna eat. And I would not lump it that far to say that's the best thing I ever had. It's a very good burger, but please compare it among the lines of, uh, say, Steak and Shake, for instance. Um, when I was looking at it and I was tasting it, I was very much reminded of a good Steak and Shake burger as I ate this. Um, so please, if you want to, you know, take a personal example and compare it to that immediately, you can say, oh, this is like, oh yeah, I had a good burger from Steak and Shake last Friday. Yeah, this is similar to that, you know, or something along those lines. Now, in terms of the specifics here, which I'm gonna... This burger itself is very flavorful. I mean, the beef patties are, they're not wafer thin. They're not too thick either, but too stacked up on each other it does give a good amount of flavor. Um, they're very juicy. I mean, they are juicy, they're flavorful. I gotta give them credit for that. All the ingredients really do blend together well. I mean, they're fresh, you can taste that they're fresh, they're crisp, um, teeming with moisture, which in some ways is a bad thing, but this time it's just, it's flavorful all blends together so nicely. Um, I could even taste a tiny bit of that little butteriness um, that's, you know, on the, the buns and whatnot. Um, and I was worried for a little bit that it was going to make everything too slippery, and some of the ingredients were falling out, but at least the, the meat and the buns were intact, and they were um, in place at least, so that's, that's a, a, a good, good sign. Um, so that's good at least. The, uh, you know, the, the otherwise... If there's one complaint that I could put in with this burger, and it's not really a complaint, more more or less a suggestion, I think this burger by itself is fine. But I think if there's something that would amplify it, for instance, and then this is maybe just me adding a, a personal opinion. Um, if there's one thing I think, though, that could really make this above and beyond, they should put some ketchup on it, I think. Something as simple as ketchup, just a little ketchup. That's all that they need, a tiny little dab of ketchup. I think that would really set it above and beyond, because the one thing that I thought it was missing was some sort of real external, um, you know, type of dressing. And yeah, they might have the butter, um, some might have some mayo, but I think just that little, that little bit of that, I don't know how you want to describe it, not necessarily tartness, but just from the, the tomato ketchup, I think that would just really complement it so nicely and just put the little little cherry on top, the literal cherry on top, um, because if you didn't know this, tomato ketchup actually does come from cherries, you know, they're both red, that's, that's the case actually, so that's why they say, put the cherry on top, um, 
when they talk about things like that. Now, this burger itself was around five dollars uh, in price, give or take. Um, and you know, from what you're paying for it, you are getting your money's worth. And that's something that's important. One other thing that I do want to mention in terms of the bacon, you're not going to be getting these huge strips of bacon, unfortunately, but they are flavorful. They might be small, but they do have some flavor in there at least, so do keep in mind, you know, that might look small, but it does pack a little bit of a punch in terms of flavor at least, so keep that in mind there. Um, so when it comes to this burger, though, given the price, um, which, you know, it might seem a little high, but again, you're getting your money's worth. This is a very good burger. Given everything else, I'm going to have to give this burger a 9.4 out of 10. I enjoy it. Um, I could understand the hype about it, because it certainly is good. And uh, I think I'll see myself frequenting Culver's from now on. I think they did a good job, and uh, looks like I just discovered another favorite burger place. That's all I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Support of the Week, and today's review is for the uh, Culver's Bacon Deluxe Burger from Culver's. Thank you for watching, and do take care.